Over 30 years as a medium. 10 years soul searching to find out all the answers. And now I'm sharing my life's work with everybody. So join me and enjoy the journey. Subscribe, press the notifications, and let's help each other. One of the strangest paranormal events that I did was when we came across at what we call in the trade the Lady of the Night, which is a prostitute in the old days. And basically, one of the rooms was well known um, for men to be touched up in this room. And this was quite a strange uh, phenomenon that I'd not come across. So on this particular night, um, one of the lads who has never been on an event before and was quite sceptical um, said to me afterwards, he says, um, I got touched up in this room and so we went to investigate this and it later came to light that yes this was a, that a lot of customers and that even an american customer who uh, came with his missus was being touched up and actually returned um without his missus so very strange but this is only half of the night this was a, a new place that we'd visited, which is always best because then a lot of the other paranormal groups hadn't been there, which meant that it was it was raw, it was it was ready um, to investigate. And we that night we had one of our trans mediums got taken over by a lady, and who was trying to get away from the person that was looking at after her which was a pimp in the old days, but they wouldn't have been known as that. But her her, her man who looked after her, but also farmed her out for doing sexual favours as part of this group. So after um, the night's activities was really active and one thing or another, I got a phone call from a friend that I worked with who came for the first time on the paranormal night. And he says, Steve, I need help. He says, I can't believe it, but I think I've brought home the lady of the night. And worse, has happened as well. So I'm visiting his flat, and this person was shaken up. He couldn't believe it. But he said that in the middle of the night, he got a visitation. And he was basically had things happen to him which he didn't really go into detail, but certainly was what a lady of the night would do. But he said all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this big bloke came from nowhere and started threatening him. And so I cleared out this and cut the ties and told him that um, whenever you do a paranormal event, you must cut the ties from the place or you still have the energy connection. And so then they can get down these lines and visit. So this was a very strange experience to have to deal with and, and get rid of as not just the Lady of the Night, but also her guardian, who in the olden days was a big, stocky, nasty piece of work, which scared the life out of my friend. And certainly, he will never ever say that he didn't believe in the paranormal ever again because first-hand he experienced a very strange situation. Look out for more of my paranormal stories and my mediumship stories as I share with you my experience of over 30 years being a medium, over 16 years doing paranormal, and also in between I did 10 years soul-searching on my spiritual journey to find out my path to enlightenment.